Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I am here with Kylie Mack, and we've just been chatting, having fun before we started rolling tape, yes. and she's awesome and fun, and I want you guys to give her some love. So I'm going to tell you right now, which I don't usually do, but you're going to follow this girl on Twitter and social media Thank and you. every channel she has. Check out her website, which is? It's all Kylie Mack Music at gmail.com. That's my email, and then just at Kylie Mack Music for my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you, man, you're rocking it out. And first of all, look at you, Guns N' Roses here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a big classic rock fan, so I try to influence that into right. my music. So I like to think of my music as a blend of southern rock mixed in with a little bit of soul. So right. I was actually supposed to go see them, but I wasn't going to be here, so I substituted for Def Leppard in September. <laughs> Woo! We love Def Leppard. Yes. I'm just saying, pour some sugar on me. Yes. All right. I'm hoping <laughs> they sing that. I'm like, how could they oh, not? They'll, they'll, they, they have to. They Joe, have to. Joe, you better sing that for Kylie because she's going to be mad if you don't. <laughs> Please. I'm holding you to that. Yeah, right. Um, no, so did, did we hear a little bit of Bon Jovi out of you? Oh, yes. I am. I love Bon Jovi, and one of my favorite songs to sing is one, A Dead or Alive. Yeah. I've been putting that in my set uh, since I was 12. I've right. grown up on it, and I was like, that would be part of my language, but a kick butt song to yes, put in there. Yes, and absolutely. That's what I grew up on, so I was like, okay, this will work. I haven't heard a girl cover it, so it was right? already off the bat different, and people liked it, thank God, because <laughs> it was definitely out of the box, but well, that's what I'm all for. And, and I, I gotta tell you, I'm a huge Bon Jovi fan. Yes. And I'm I'm gonna do this and I don't care what y'all think. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, look. Oh my god. That I is know. amazing. For those of you who don't know, yes, I have his signature tattooed on my back. Yes, With I am a Superman loyal fan underneath it. I am oh a loyal god. fan, but I am not a stalker. I promise that, you. That that's incredible. So so no, so when I, when he, he was like, Hey, do you do you hear that? And I was like, What? And I'm typing an article and he's like and he starts singing the lyrics. I was like, oh, my God, she's she's singing Bon Jovi. <laughs> and I typically, I have a hard time listening to people cover Bon Jovi because I am so critical. Yes. And, but I never hear girls, like you said, I never hear them do, you know, Wanted. Like, never. So mm -hmm. what really made you choose that song? Because, you know, everybody usually goes to, you know, You Give Love a Bad Name. or Right. Or Living on a Prayer, which that one's difficult to sing. Oh, so. that is very difficult. And I was that was in consideration. But as soon as I sang Wanted, Dead or Alive, mm -hmm. I'm like, this fits. Right. It's that it's got that whole outlaw vibe, which is what I love. Right. And I it's been one of my favorite songs ever since I was little. I was playing it on Guitar Hero back in the day. So <laughs> right? it was, I just thought, well, I love the song. Why not try to sing it? And it's worked. Thank gosh, right. like I said. So right. that's mainly because it's just a kick butt song it and it's got that it outlaw is. sound with the guitar riffs right, and it right. spoke to me <laughs> good well i'm glad and you know that that song spoke to me too yeah so. <laughs> i love it i love that tattoo that's awesome oh oh my gosh thank you you're so it. sweet you're so sweet yeah if if you only knew all, all the others I'm not going to share, but it's all I'm good. trying to get my mom to convince her to let me get some more because <laughs> I have yeah. two, but she's like, you have to be able to hide them. But I'm like, I have six. I want to sleep. I have six. <laughs> you know, mom, she can do it. She, I have six and I keep mine pretty well hidden all the time. I yes. mean, today I'm kind of She's helping my cause all, right now. Definitely. Well, when you like art and you love ink, oh, I, I mean, love it. you know, if you've planned it out well, I feel not? like your body is a canvas. Right. You can do whatever you want with right. it. And I want to decorate mine in cool things. There you go, right? Definitely. And absolutely. Well, I think you should go for it because I'm an yes. ink lover. So. Yes. <laughs> but so so we're at CMA Fest. This is day three of CMA Fest. Yes. And I know you've been busy. It's been hot out there, but oh, you yes. got you're one of the lucky artists who got to play at Alley Taps in the air condition. <laughs> yes. So so what was that experience like for you overall? What has it been for you at CMA Fest this entire time so far? It's been incredible. I think it's so cool that all these people from around the world. I met a girl yesterday who was from New Zealand who uh -huh. came all the way to CMA Fest just for the love of country music. And to see all these people coming from all over the world for this one thing, which is what I love the most, it's right. it's been incredible. The right. first day we walk up during the CMT award filming and there's Jason Aldean right there and I freaked <laughs> out. I'm like, that, that's him, that's him. It, it's been incredible. And right. I'm going to come back probably every year after that. Right. Absolutely. And I'm definitely fortunate enough to be able to sing, too, because that was 
one thing on my bucket list and it's been incredible that's that that is great and you know i love that you 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 went to the fangirl thing because that's what i do all the oh time. yeah like, we're all fans i don't care who you are like all, all of, of us. you know jason aldean is a fan of somebody <laughs> tim mcgraw is a fan of someone exactly. we are all fans of someone's and when you see someone that you adore and that you've admired oh, and that you've I, listened to he actually was one of the the people who inspired me to he was the first one really to come out with that really gritty kind mm. of country music so he kind of influenced me a little bit ever since crazy town that was the first mm. song that i had ever heard from him and mm. i was like it's perfect that's kind of what inspired me in like what fifth grade or something like that long long time ago so oh, yeah. it, it's just incredible i was like that's that great. that's my idol right there now did you actually get to go up to him or no he exited on the other side of the stage oh, bummer. <laughs> we couldn't get there because there was just wall to wall right, people right. i got my feet stepped on oh, it, gosh. it was bad there are a ton of people here yes. i mean it seems like every year just grows and it gets bigger and bigger that's and what bigger. everyone's been saying i'm like right. i i perform and stuff but i don't do well in big crowds so this has been <laughs> Definitely interesting for sure, but it's oh, been Definitely. amazing. Well, that's great. I'm so glad that you're having such a good first experience. Oh, yes. Like, that's incredible. Yes. What, what, do you, what do you have coming up for you, though, that, that's all your stuff? I mean, where, what have you been up to, and so, what can you um, tell the fans? I've actually been writing a couple songs with Jason Hamer. He's a music producer, and he's a writer. And I'm mm -hmm. hopefully getting into the studio pretty soon with Bill McDermott. Hi. And we're going to get some really cool music out there to keep things going. You know, Lonely Over You was my first ever single, but I can't wait for Go Big or Go Home to come out very soon, so keep your eyes open for that. Okay. I just recorded that with Bill. And then after that, I'm actually doing a contest down in Palm Deserts in California just for fun. It's called Country Showdown. And nice. then after that, just more songwriting sessions. I'm going with Go Long Entertainment. Mm -hmm. They wrote a couple songs like Shotgun Rider and Wild mm -hmm. One by Faith Hill. And so mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Just mostly going to try and start playing everywhere right, in the right. bars and try to get gigs and Absolutely. just start hopefully getting my name out there more. So are you available? Because a lot of artists now are, are available for private bookings. Do you do that as well? I'm actually, I just moved back to Colorado Springs, but okay. I have a man manager out there and she's been um booking me a couple of private parties like two oh, hour fun. sessions so i'm yeah. gonna start doing that and i'm really excited okay now here, here's something that i have to know too because okay. i love and i'm sorry i know i'm to totally talking oh no i talk time. all the time too i love talking you me all know too. that <laughs> so some of my interviews are like really quick and sweet and then some of them i'm like oh no i connect oh no to this i'm girl. another talker we're, we're okay. bon jovi fans we got so this. we don't we know how long this. we're gonna be here but it's gonna probably girl be a power. Little, little bit <laughs> a little bit longer um have you thought about doing any of the you know the like the, what are they called the the kickstarters and the pledge campaigns have you thought about doing any of those things you know what we are actually um gonna try to get a kickstarter together and right. i need to find my band but i right. also need help funding it and also the traveling expenses right. we lived in california while me and my mom were here this past week the rest of my family was moving at an entire house from california to colorado oh wow so um my dad's military okay so we've been dealing with a lot and i definitely want to start being able to live more on my own right so i'm gonna start doing a kickstarter campaign and okay. i hope a lot of people would believe in me enough to you know donate ev every penny counts well and you know the, the thing is is just the hard work and the dedication right yes. you got to try because if oh, you don't yeah. try you're you're basically sealing it yourself right, right. You're, i you're never want to say what out. if yeah. i never want to say well what if i did this or i should have done that so my mom always tells me and my grandma tells me she says if you're going to do this you got to be all in Absolutely. and i am all the time That's so funny. i'm definitely going to start trying to you know make money i this is my job right so i have to figure out some way to you know support myself and pay right. a band and just get to do my music well and then the new thing is and um i need the name tommy cameraman <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys i know Thank you can't you. see him but um what is the name of the 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 what the gig town thing? yeah the gig town thing is that what it is it's just gig town what's the gig town thing Okay, I'll put it up for you guys later, but I'll I'll give you the information. It's, yes, um, please. There's the 
the thing that Bobby gave you earlier, the pamphlet uh-huh. that he gave you earlier, check into that because there's a lot of online streaming and there's ways for you to like do private little, you know, concerts for, oh, for yeah. fans. And, you I know, it's just, that. it's fun. But, but the online streaming, you know, if you haven't thought about it before, there's, there's another avenue that I want you to consider too okay. with the online streaming, because a lot of artists, what they don't realize, there are a lot, a lot of patients that are stuck in hospitals yes. that cannot get out to concerts. They can't get out. Right. And as parents of children who are in hospitals as well they're stuck too with their child and you know right. and and so when you do these online things they're a lot of fun and they bring a lot of joy to the patients that are in the hospitals so think about right. doing those online things too and oh, I, heard, I would love that I, I think they're called like stage it um stage it concerts and okay then the, yeah the, the, i haven't the, heard of that but i would love and then to the gig town thing the guy is downstairs so we're gonna hook her up with that later yes thank um, you but i have to talk to her about it right now because we're just talking so but that's that's a really unique you know um um, avenue to, yes. to try to, to I have never fans. heard of that before but I would love to do that absolutely just and because I want to spread my music I believe that music has the power to move people to inspire people right, right. it really is a language in itself yes and I all I want to do is spread it right you know and that would be an amazing I way mean, to do it and there's no boundaries right I mean right. music transcends just Everywhere, oh, it's everyone. definitely expanding, especially mm-hmm. in the country music world. People are starting to get more diverse with their country mm-hmm. music, and mm-hmm. I think it's really cool that people are opening up and right. you know opening up all these different doors and avenues, right. such as like Chris Stapleton. Yes. He, there wasn't anybody out there like him, and he found a niche, and I thought it was great because he's so unique. Right. And right. I would love to. Oh, do yeah. That. And like I, I, <laughs> I said this yesterday, but, you know, I it always comes to mind. He's so hot right now. It's just like he, you know, is. he is. I actually just recently saw him in concert last month mm-hmm. and he was incredible. Mm-hmm. I mean, and his did you wife, see the stage coach? No, I okay. saw him at the Santa Barbara Bowl. The reason why I asked is you were talking about California and I'm a California girl. Oh, and no. We were at stage. I would love to go to there. stage coach one day. And I wish I could have gone to Bonnaroo, too. That looks like so much fun. But, yeah, he right. was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Like that, that's I, wasn't he at Bonnaroo? About. He was at Bonnaroo yeah. this year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's been traveling a lot. He had to cancel his concert because he had, I think, notes or he had um, oh. nodules on his vo- vocal cords. Yep, those and are not fun. I gave I know. him props because he mm-hmm. got up there a week later after his surgery and. It was just a week incredible. after his surgery. Yep. Chris, I don't think your doctor is okay with that. No, I don't. I'm think just they saying. I've had that surgery, and you're like not supposed to talk for weeks. Like, wow. Nope. He, Props he was to able, you, man. He sounded just like the recording. And let me tell you, his wife, most amazing voice. She sounds right. almost like Allison Krauss. It was incredible. Oh wow. She. Wow. Was, it was beautiful. That's awesome. All right. Well. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time. Thank you for having I me. It was so you. nice talking oh to you. I love you too. And <laughs> tattoo. Check her out, guys. You have to because she's amazing. Support her when she gets her Kickstarter up. We're all going to do that. We have to. Yes. We just have to because we have to support all the artists that need our help, right? So All the support counts. So get on it. Help us help her. So yes. until Thank next you. time, guys. Bye, Stay guys. tuned.